Are we recording? Okay, so this is the uh, the two metre station. So um, just talking through the equipment that we have here. Little power supply down here, which runs the uh, the radio. It's running 25 watts. Uh, we have a um, True North magnetic uh, compass uh, rotator controller, which you saw the remote demonstration of a moment ago. We have a little uh, switch here to connect a few Ethernet things together. TS2000, which we tend to use on two meters. This is a, sequ uh, a preamp sequencer. So we've got the preamp on, masthead preamp, and we can switch between vertical and horizontal. Um, headset with a da -de da button over here, so we use this for PTT on or off, and then we can press the button and we can get a little da -de da happening in there. Uh, laptop for logging with the uh, VKCL program. This is the remote control where all of our frequencies are pre-stored. So I can tune from 150, 160, 70, 80, 90, 200, 300. So I can jump around very quickly between frequencies and different bands if I choose to. This is a fan for when it gets hot. Over here our 70 centimetre station is very similar. Michael will be running the, uh, the logger down here but he also uses, um, uh, bases a lot of the work on the aircraft enhancement. So he's got uh, Air Scout I think it's called and uh, he's got VK Logger up there. Again over here he has the True North Magnetic uh, Compass uh, Rotator Controller. Uh, sequencer and preamp with his uh, vertical and horizontal switching here. He's running just 70 centimetres, PTT and the da -de da button over here. He's got a PA, um, so he's running around 300 or so watts and a power supply to control that. Didn't mention down here on two metres we run um, 250 to 300 down there with the PA that's under the, under the desk. On this side over here we have our uh, microwave stations. So Damien controls this typically. Uh, he uses these switches here to select different bands between 1296 up to uh, 24 gigahertz. Uh, another one of the uh, famous um, magnetic uh, compass controls. Uh, his PTT button here and da -de da button. Uh, operator down here can, uh, can also switch different discrete frequencies all based on the TS2000 with his logger. We have uh, Wi-Fi internet coming in uh, off a uh, cellular service and that uh, distributes around to all the devices. All of the uh, controllers are uh, internet aware. Mike's just setting up the... Uh, yes, it's um, yes, it is. You'll need an adapter. adapter. Yeah, I'll get that for you. So again, his logger. Uh, he's running an IC7300 with a power amplifier, <laughs> hopefully tuned down a little bit <laughs> so that it doesn't run the full tilt. Um, oh, nice microphone and a power supply for the uh, for the radio down there as well. And the, and the headset. Oh, beautiful. So if we come outside, we'll have a quick look at the uh, antennas. So starting with the, uh, the microwave antennas over here, uh, we're running a 1.8 metre dish for 1296 and 2.4 gigahertz. Um, it's uh, dual feed at the bottom there. Above that, just around this way a little bit, we have the 3, 5 and 10 gigahertz uh, dish, which is an offset feed uh, dish. And at the back of that are mounted the various relays for switching and the transverters themselves. And then finally above that, you'll see the 24 gigahertz dish, uh, which is uh, running with uh, uh, the transverter mounted at the back. And right at the very top, you can see our, uh, our uh, magnetic uh, here into Damien's side of the tent uh, that's a GPS antenna there so that uh, he can uh, he can uh, the entire station is locked to a GPS frequency reference. Up this way here we have our uh, 70 centimeter uh, mast uh, it's running uh, I can't count how many elements there probably 15 or something horizontal a little bit less on the uh, on the vertical side of things and a uh, masthead pre-amplifier. Over on uh, six metres there, uh, three element Yagi. We don't use a preamp there, not yet anyhow, but we should. Um, and conventional rotator not using the compass. And lastly, up there on two metres, uh, 13 elements or whatever it is, I haven't counted them, uh, horizontal. You can see the, the 
compass is a little lower on this one, so you can't quite see it from this angle. And one, two, three, four, five, six elements or so vertically polarized. Uh, that's it. That's the uh, that's the uh, mighty VK3 KQ portable station up here at Enfield, where we're at, at about 400 and. 70 odd meters above sea level. Um, we have two generators running, one over here which runs two of the stations and there's another one further down the road <laughs> by, uh, by about 50 meters or so. Um, we have a 2.2 kVA down there uh, running uh, the other two stations. So we run a few hundred watts on each station so we uh, need uh, dual generators and when it's really hot we bring out the air conditioner and uh, we run a third generator to power that, or we use that in winter to run the heater. So, uh, yes, uh, we have a vertical antenna here which is not currently being used, just a, a diamond a 2 and 70. Uh, we just use that for mainly communications from here into Ballarat when someone has to go in. And Damien is here now and uh, he's waving, so uh, we'll get stuck into the, uh, the field day. All the best, 7-3, good luck in the contest.